What's going on guys, it's Chris from Cardi Wild, and I'm back, and I know, I keep leaving, and I keep coming back, and I keep leaving, and I keep coming back. You know, it really feels like I'm less of a full-time member for this kind of thing, and more just, you know, kind of in the open door, you know? Um, not a lot of people know this, but I am the oldest member of Cardi Wild, and... Uh, you know, as the oldest member of Coyote Wild at 25 years old, uh, a lot of a lot of things have happened, and a lot of wonderful things have happened. Uh, so I'm going to be talking about all of the things that have happened, and where I've been, and what the future for myself and the channel will be as I play over. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Uh, Anika's Odyssey, Land of the Tanwa, by Tricky Sheep, made in 2007. So this is a, it's a point-and-click adventure game, and it's quiet and it's easy, so that's why I thought it would be good to talk over it. Uh, Flashback Friday also being one of my shows, so. Uh, so I'll just let the opening cinematic play and then we'll get right into it. And see, what you have to do is you have to, uh, you have to take this bucket over to this water uh, valve and... A giant ass bird is going to show up and take your bunny away. And the, the point of it is to traverse the entire wilderness to get back your bunny rabbit. Okay, so uh, this is actually pretty easy. So, to start with my announcements. Um, you know, of course everyone knows that, um, you know, I have a wife. Uh, well, in February, uh, my wife and I found out that we're going to be having a baby. So, a lot of my time and a lot of my, um, resources have been going to that. I haven't been buying games because I've been paying for appointments. I haven't been filming kind of wild episodes because I've been taking care of the house and making sure that my wife has everything that she needs to, um, you know, be healthy, you know, buying her prenatal vitamins, taking her to her appointments, uh, and everything of that matter. So, that's really one of the major things. Um, you know, the other, of course, I talked about this a while back, is, you know, shortly after, you know, she got pregnant, you know, I had, you know, my promotion where I, you know, have, like, full 12-hour days now, which is unfortunate, uh, so that really cuts my time, so it's, it's, you know, I go in at around 1 o'clock in the afternoon, I, it takes me, like, 30 minutes to get to work, so I have to leave my house around 12, 15, 12, 30-ish, uh, and then I, you know, work all the way up to, you know, you know, I do, I do stocking, so I'm not really allowed to, you know, we're not allowed to go until it's all said and done and everything is, you know, put away and whatnot. So I'll work, you know, one in the afternoon to, you know, one in the morning, and then I get home, and, you know, no one else from Coyote Wild is awake, no one else from, uh, you know, no one's online, I don't really have a lot of time. Uh, but anyway, in February, when I found out, you know, when I found out that Madeline was pregnant, um, we, you know, we started the process of moving in together, and that took longer than I expected. I had a lot of, uh, I had to call in a lot of favors because we didn't really have uh, our schedules didn't match up to the time where we could just get a U-Haul and move all of my shit, you know, so it was a very slow process of moving things out of my apartment, um, into her house. And then, of, and of course, you know, we got married after, shortly after that, you know, once we had all that. So we had to deal with that legal trouble, uh, you know, of just going to the courthouse and just signing the papers without doing a really big ceremony or, or anything like that, you know, and, and it took for, you know, it took a really long time to get all of our things moved. Together. So, so there was that. Uh, but unfortunately, when I moved in with her, um, you know, we didn't have internet. We didn't, you know, we just we would either use our cell phone data or we would use, um, you know, the Wi-Fi of uh, her brother who lived next door to us, and he had a pretty powerful router. Uh, so. With that, with that said and done, you know that that kind of explains a lot of the absences that I've had, uh, and I still really 
do want to work on the channel. I'm actually really excited. You know, um, we found out a couple weeks ago that we're having a boy, uh, so we're going to name him Howlin' Gray Williams. Um, and you know, Howlin', uh, we actually got that from uh, the Game of Thrones series, the Song of Ice and Fire, rather, uh, based on uh, you know Ned Stark's friend that helped. Uh, oh wait, I forgot something. That helped uh, helped him get uh, Alana back from the, the Tower of Joy, from uh, Rhaegar Targaryen. So we just we like the name, uh, the name Howland. It's it's nice. And then uh, Gray actually comes from um, it comes from uh, her older brother, which um, tragically um, we lost uh, in April. And, uh, that's. Uh, it's it's not a not an easy thing to talk about, and I I really don't feel I have any right to. Um, so you know February <laughs> February we get pregnant, and, you know March you know we move in together. April we lose her brother. You know May we you know we you know keep going to the appointments and everything. Uh, you know June we find out the gender and. And now we're just setting up the baby shower, um, so every everything is um, it's a mess. And um, I'm still I'm still in talks with my brother to uh, you know do the you know we love the PS2 series that I talked about the last time I was here. And uh, you know, I, I'm I'm still in the talks to to do everything every everything that that I want to do with the channel. It's just. Uh, this year just took so many unexpected, you know, turns, and some of them blessed, you know, with, with the conception of my son, and, and some of them, you know, not so easily with, you know, the death of um, our, our, you know, her older brother, my, my brother-in-law, you know, it's um, just not easy. Uh, and then recently, um, I'm actually amazed I can play this, I actually fractured my wrist recently. Um, falling uh doing doing yard work and i fell and I landed on my wrist wrong and it just fractured it in three places nothing major just hairline fractures but it, it does make playing video games a, a hair difficult because i did fracture my dominant hand and um so that's fun this is why i'm playing a game like this more instead of you know like left for dead or the half-life series or, or something like that so but, but a, a lot has gone on uh, in the last in the last year. To say to say that 2017 has has been my 2016 would be pretty accurate in the sense that just things keep happening. You know, sometimes they're easy, sometimes they're not. Um, I am going to do my best to devote myself to the channel uh, now that we have internet set up at the house. Now that we have everything set up, except for you know the baby shower, which we've still got to go through and. All of that, but once we get the baby shower out of the way um, and everything, we'll we'll be able to free up a lot more time. And uh, but a lot of the days off I have, you know, because I mentioned that you know I work you know 12 hour days from 12 to 12 basically, or you know one to one or whatever whatever ends up being the case. Um, you know our days off are mostly spent you know going to these appointments and you know seeing about you know everything that we can do for each other. Um, or organizing the shower, like, you know, getting together with our friends on lunch dates and going, okay, we need this for the baby shower, we need this, we need to go around uh, Walmart, we need to set up the registry, uh, and for the most part, we have everything. We, I mean, we've already got the crib, the walker, the playpen, toys, books, I mean, everything we could need. And Madeline are just so excited, and it really makes me, you know, I'm sorry, it really, it really makes me just so ecstatic that you know, all of this is happening because I never really thought that I would find someone that I loved as much as I love Madeline and I never thought that I would ever be a father or you know do anything but even if I don't have time to you know do Coyote out as much as I'd like or to do the things on my personal channel like I'd like like I wanted to start doing uh, book reviews for uh, really good books that I like to read. I wanted to do, you know, showcases of, uh, you know, my collection because I collect a lot of rare and interesting objects. Like, you know, I have an Aztec death whistle and various other things, and you know, 
between between work and all of that, you know, I, I really feel like I've done I've done a terrible job of, of balancing, you know, my my professional life and my adult responsibilities with, you know, the things that I want to do. Um, this channel being one of them, and then everything else in my free time being the other. Uh, but I, I don't feel like I've done bad. You know, Madeline and I have a house. We're married. We're expecting a child. We both have a vehicle. I mean, we're we're doing great. We both have full-time jobs. I, I could not be happier in my life. I mean, everything has just gone so perfectly, and I'm just so blessed by whatever you want to call it. And um, just, I mean, if I, if I pop in and out, you know, always remember that. Oh, it's been an honor and a pleasure to provide entertainment to close to 30,000 people. Uh, and it's crazy having started it with Aaron and Joey and Taylor way back in 2011, I think, or 2013, one of those two. Just, you know, playing, you know, just simple Steam games with each other. And now it's expanded to this huge community and we have this, we have a Discord and we have, we just, we just, I mean, a Twitter, a Twitch, uh, you know, we've, we've reached so many people. And even if even if all of you don't know who I am, I've I've just been just so ecstatic to be a part of it. And uh, <laughs> um, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Um, I know that I've made sporadic appearances, and I haven't given this this channel the attention that it's deserved. But I feel Virgil and, and Joey and Sparkster and everyone else has you know, they've, they've more than stepped up to the plate. And I I'd, I'd hope one day you know. That I could, you know, do videos with my son, and we could play, you know, all kinds of things together. And I can introduce him to all of the games that I loved, and all of the things that I loved. And, you know, who knows? Maybe one day. So, but that's that's all this there is to this, and that's all I really wanted to say was to tell you guys what was going on and what I'd been up to, and uh, to thank you for your patience and, you know, for, you know getting me through, you know, the, the tough parts of my life until I could, you know, you know until I found Madeline and, and fell in love and started a family. So, thank you, all of you. Goodbye. Back, back, back from the dead.